Hi Ruben, uh, I'm speaking for all the riders uh, here in Israel. We are uh, very excited with your visit. And uh, I wanted to know what is your uh, impression so far from the Israeli riders, from Israel as a country? Well, it's a pleasure first of all to be here in Israel. The news TV, they always show the bad things from the countries. Unfortunately, we are citizens of the world. Different cultures, of, of course, but we can learn each other, from each other. Well, so far I'm really surprised because uh, I didn't expect that uh, Tel Aviv was a nice city like this, close to the sea, with all these big buildings, the weather is fantastic, and, and already so far the people I visit is uh, really welcoming. And on my point and my side, I can speak well when I go back home. So I can uh, give some support to the Israel country. How does it feel to be a professional rider? Do you feel that you are going to work or are you feeling that you're living the dream every day? I'm living a dream because I do what I want. I'm doing what I like. I like motorbikes. Uh, but it's clear that when you are in a world level, fighting in a world championship like, like we're doing in superbikes, if you don't have the best machine or the best package or the best everything, it's difficult. Superbike championship is becoming more strong every time and not every day is easy. Uh, of course, last year was very difficult because uh, with the project of BMW, it was a new project and uh, everything was new from the beginning, from zero. But of course, I enjoy a lot uh, racing motorbikes, otherwise I prefer to choose and change other things. During your career, you had a uh, few uh, crashes. No, a few, no, a lot of crashes. A lot of crashes. After a crash and a big injury, coming back to the track and you're a bit afraid or you are not thinking about it? Well, it's more than 10 years in a professional side racing and it's true that on the new project in the last two years I've got a big crashes and I broke everything that I didn't break in 10 years. In the last two years I've got three injuries very serious that I never had before. All my crashes were many times because of risking on the last moment with the private bike, well, you know that I rode for five years a private Ducati. Most of my crashes were front, last moment front because braking too hard or something like this. And those crashes are very simple. You see them and you crash and you see them and you are just sliding and very easy for us, no? And the problem is when you high side or something. And your confidence is getting low after something like that? No, you get lower for one second. When you do things easy, you don't lose the confidence. All the riders that we are in the Superbikes World Championship, when we are racing one second behind the lap record, we can do it so easy. Three months not testing a bike or riding a bike, we jump in, third lap, we are close to the record. That's something we have in. And I don't know how to go slow. I, ha I only know how to go fast. That's my problem. That's why I don't ride on the street. If I go slow, I feel I'm going to crash more. What happened with BMW? Why, why things didn't work out? Look, when we started the project of BMW, I knew that's going to be a hard project because everything was new. I mean, every other manufacturer, Ducati, Yamaha, Honda, uh, Prilia, it's more than 20 years of experience on racing. Every day, every year, doing 10 races per 20 years. So when you have zero experience and everybody else has 200, 300, 400, 600 races on their database, not only the bike and machine, the mechanics, everybody learn about racing. BMW, big project, big money, many, many departments. And we have many departments, it's difficult to follow one single way. So the single way was me always putting my effort, always 100%, risking a lot, getting injured. And of course, now was an option to renew the contract. But uh, of course, BMW was not happy with me. And I was not really enjoying racing the bike. Not enjoying the bike sometimes because I don't understand the bike sometimes. What the bike was going to do. Maybe BMW will attack me. I'm not going to attack BMW. On racing, at high level, everything needs to match. If something is not matching, it's very difficult to win. And it's clear that we were not matching in some points. Uh, but of course, many things have changed for next year in BMW. Riders, uh, bosses, uh, technicians. Uh, so that means that something was not working in there. Not only the rider. And uh, hopefully with that new project, Tenkate, I can do better things than I've done in BMW. But I really need to thank BMW because I've learned a lot from BMW, from developing a bike, uh, from testing new things. So hopefully on, uh, on the new project, I don't need to test uh, many things as BMW. So I can only focus in racing and racing and racing. In our country, there is no uh, motori culture. 
and uh, racing is illegal here. What can you say to the Israeli government about racing? I mean, I didn't know that Israel is, is illegal racing. To me, it's strange because if you want to avoid crashes on the street and accidents, and mortal accidents or death and accidents, the best thing is promote the racing because you build up a track, people can go as fast as they want on the track, so they don't want to go and race fast on the street. It's risking for the people on the street, it's risking for, for the death. And, and when you create a racing track or racing point, you also create economy. Because if you invite people go racing the tracks, motorbikes and cars, people will go to the racetrack. We'll buy helmets, we'll buy leathers, we'll buy suits, we'll buy motorbikes, we'll switch on TV, we'll buy more stuff, and you will create economy as well and save lives. So for me, it's strange. So if you create racing, people will like more motorcycles. And if you like motorcycles, you can create more clients of motorcycles for the streets so you save some traffic. And at the end, it's always uh, something positive. Okay, Ruben Zaus, I wish you luck in the next season. Thank you very much. I hope much. that you'll smile uh, a lot yeah, and enjoy I'm a lot. For, I'm looking for. You need it? Yeah, Thank need you very much. It was a big honor for me. Thank you. It's a big pleasure to be in Israel. Already changed my mind from Israel and try to give uh, a good feedback to my people in Spain.